Do you have any idea of the power that resides within you? Imagine if there was a key capable of unlocking countless mysteries, opening the doors to prosperity, health, and harmonious relationships. That's the secret. We're not talking about a mere trick or passing tactic. Today we will dive into the ancient law of attraction, ready to be revealed and utilized by you. In ancient times, only a few held this valuable knowledge. Leaders and powerful figures kept the secret hidden, leaving most people in ignorance. They lived their lives in a powerless routine, unaware of the secret that shapes their existence. But throughout the centuries, enlightened minds, from poets and artists to thinkers and religious figures, shared fragments of this truth. Names like Shakespeare, Beethoven, Da Vinci, Socrates, and Newton, each in their own way, reflected this law in their works. The secret that unites all these brilliant minds, that has transcended cultures and civilizations, is simple yet transformative, the law of attraction. Bob Proctor, one of the notable thinkers of our time, synthesizes that we live in a universe guided by precise natural laws, so exact that they allowed humans to reach the moon. Wherever you are, you are under the influence of the same power, the same law, attraction. This law states that everything that happens in our lives, we attract through our thoughts. You become a magnet for what you contemplate, whether it's good or bad. Every thought is a force, an energy that you emit, and that returns to you at the same frequency. So if you think of abundance, you attract abundance. If you think of lack, it is lack that will come to you. And don't think this is mere speculation. In 1912, Charles Hanel already described the law of attraction as the greatest and most infallible law that exists, the pillar that sustains all creation. The secret is not something new. It is ancient knowledge, always present, available for those who seek it and apply it in their lives. So my friends, as we take the first steps on this journey of discovery, remember, your mind has the power to shape your reality. This knowledge, now revealed, is the key for you to create the life you've always desired. So are you ready to unveil the secret? And where do the ideas that transform realities come from? Well, many times they arise from the exchange of knowledge between brilliant minds, a legacy of wisdom passed from one expert to another. In the excerpt we just explored, we encountered the profiles of prominent figures in this scene of personal growth and change. Bob Proctor, for example, is part of a renowned lineage of teachers. The key knowledge he received came from names like Andrew Carnegie, Napoleon Hill, and Earl Nightingale. Proctor has dedicated over four decades to the power of the mind and has traveled the world spreading the law of attraction, promoting lives filled with prosperity and abundance. And tireless scholar is James Arthur Ray who has developed personal performance methods as well as programs that help people achieve success in various areas, financial, personal, intellectual, physical, and spiritual. His inclusive approach draws from Eastern and mystical wisdom, fostering the idea of infinitely accessible wealth. In the world of business, David Shermer, a successful broker and investment consultant, shares his knowledge through seminars that guide people towards substantial financial gains empowering them with the right mindset. He is highly regarded for his keen analysis of stocks and commodities markets, a skill that reflects his sharp understanding of the financial universe. Marcy Shimoff has not only co-authored massively successful books, but also directs her passion towards personal growth, with a particular focus on women's progress. She strongly believes that self-esteem is the foundation for a happy life, and carries out meaningful work through her company. Lastly, we have the incredible journey of Dr. Joe Vitale, who went from rock bottom to the top as one of the leading experts in marketing. He is a prolific writer, addressing the principles of success and abundance, and is so versatile that he ventures from marketing to healing through Qi Kung. Each of these individuals is a piece of the puzzle of success and well-being, living examples of how applying the principles we are discussing can truly elevate the human experience to unimaginable heights. It makes us wonder, if they have achieved it, what stops us from walking a similar path? They are the guides, the lit torches that illuminate the roads we travel in search of a fuller life. Let us continue the journey, inspired by their stories and teachings. Have you ever found yourself wishing for something so intensely that it feels like you can touch that dream with your own hands? 
Well, imagine if your thoughts were not just fleeting desires, but powerful forces that shape the reality around you. That's what John Asaroff and Dr. Joe Vitale present to us in this section of The Secret. According to them, thoughts are not just ideas floating around in our heads without consequence. Each thought vibrates at a certain frequency, like music playing in the space around us. And just as an antenna transmits and receives signals, we are constantly transmitting these frequencies through the thoughts we consistently nurture. Whether it's envisioning a new car in the garage or yearning for a passionate love, the consistency of this mental emission supposedly attracts circumstances of the same nature. Charles Hanel, who is mentioned multiple times in the text, reinforces this idea with timeless conviction. What we emit in mental frequency returns to us, creating a cycle of attraction. We are encouraged to imagine our mind as a powerful broadcasting station, whose waves reach not only the immediate environment, but the entire universe. The television analogy is simple. If you don't like what you're watching, what do you do? You change the channel. Similarly, if the life you're watching doesn't please you, the idea is that you should change the frequency of your thoughts to attain a new programming, a new reality. The section ends with Hanel pondering that the vibrations of the mind are subtle but extremely powerful, suggesting that while the process may seem discreet, its effects are immense. So, what transmission are you sending out to the world? Are your mental waves in tune with the life of your dreams? It may be time to adjust the frequency and see what new experiences can be received in your life. And what if I told you that the key to facing illness could lie in the balance between your mind and conventional medicine? Open your mind to this revelation, because at this point in our journey through the book The Secret, we are delving into a theme that combines the power of thought with the healing process. This is the premise that emanates from the shared knowledge of Dr. John Demartini and other experts. Imagine a scenario where disease arises not only as a bodily alarm but also as a message from the mind. Dr. Demartini makes us ponder. Can imbalances in our perspectives, the lack of love and gratitude, manifest as physical signs? This doctor emphasizes that the cure does not lie in denying traditional medicine, but in integrating it with the power of the psyche. He believes that love and gratitude have the extraordinary power to dissolve any negativity. Remember Kathy Goodman, who faced with breast cancer chose gratitude and laughter as her healing tools? Well, in just three months, without aggressive treatments, she healed herself. Inspired by Norman Cousins, who laughed his way to remission from his incurable illness, Kathy showed us the strength of faith and joy in one of the most challenging moments a person can face. And how can we forget the words of Dr. Ben Johnson? We all possess an incredible internal resource, self-healing. Whether it's a wound or an infection, our bodies seek to repair themselves. And there, Bob Proctor reminds us that diseases do not thrive in a body sustained by healthy emotions, where the incessant cycle of cell death and rebirth is balanced by our emotional well-being. Healing elements like a strong mind and a serene emotional state pave the way to health. And this understanding offers us an incredible mastery, the ability to transcend our physical limitations through the power of the mind and gratitude. As we move forward, reflect on how your mindset may be influencing your own journey towards health and well-being. Imagine a transmission tower. Not just any tower, but the most powerful one in the universe. And what if I told you that this tower is none other than your mind? According to Dr. Fred Allen Wolf, a quantum physicist and author, we're not talking about mere fantasy, but rather a fundamental understanding. The core of quantum physics reveals that the universe depends on the mind to take form, to exist as we perceive it. Now, what does this actually mean for our everyday lives? The thoughts we nurture in our minds are like signals emitted to the universe, which returns these frequencies to us in the form of lived experiences. It's like an ongoing conversation between us and reality. Our thoughts are the dialogues, and life is the response. Neglecting the power of the mind would be underestimating the capacity we have to shape the world around us. And here's the surprising link. What scientists like Dr. Wolf have discovered in the last eight decades of quantum physics research is not disconnected from the teachings of great minds throughout history. 
We're talking about individuals who have shaped philosophy, art, spirituality, like Andrew Carnegie, Ralph Waldo Emerson, William Shakespeare, Francis Bacon, Jiddu Krishnamurti, and Buddha. These visionaries in their own time and style already understood the power that resides within humans, outlining the panorama of the world. The thought we take from this reflection is that we are beings of immeasurable power, artists of our own existence. The human mind is the palette and brushes, and reality is the canvas where thoughts become colors and shapes. For those who have felt like a leaf in the wind, it's time to recognize we have the power to stir up storms or soothe the breeze. Imagine a life where your joy is so intense that it spreads, infecting everyone around you. That's precisely the vibrant life that Lisa Nichols suggests is possible when we follow our fullness. When we align ourselves with the abundance of the universe, we open the doors to a constant state of happiness and fulfillment. Lisa affirms that sharing this life with loved ones not only nourishes us, but also involves others in a virtuous cycle of positivity. Joe Vitale adds that the key is to pursue our passions, our excitement, and our enthusiasm. Imagine spending your days doing only what brings you excitement. That is the reality Joe describes and lives. Meanwhile, Bob Proctor reminds us that we should simply appreciate life in its essence, describing it as a magnificent and phenomenal journey. Life, according to Bob, is meant to be enjoyed in every moment. Imagine a universe where your every desire, dream, and aspiration is within reach, waiting to be grabbed. That's exactly the scenario Lisa Nichols insists we live in. She emphasizes the hunger for these desires, a deep intention to achieve them, which, when accompanied by true action, can make the universe deliver every fervently made request. But she also advises us to focus on the positive, recognizing the beauty around us and blessing these wonders, instead of wasting time on criticism and regrets. And you know what's even more intriguing and valuable here? Lisa reminds us that the act of blessing, an ancient tradition aimed at health, wealth, and happiness, is underutilized today. Blessing means invoking divine favor and bestowing well-being or prosperity. And through this simple gesture, we can invoke one of the greatest powers in our lives. This power is multiplied when we bless and praise pais, not only attracting good to ourselves, but also dissolving any negativity that may exist in our lives. Dennis Waitley provides us with a reflection on power sharing. Many past leaders failed because they did not share the power they held. And in a time when knowledge is accessible to everyone, he highlights that we are living in the best time to be alive, where the secret provides us with awareness of the truth of the world and ourselves. And as we achieve this freedom through the power of our thoughts, we contribute to the greater good of humanity. Quantum physics and the discoveries of current science reinforce the teachings of the secret, revealing that everything in the universe, including ourselves and our desires, is energy vibrating at certain frequencies. Thoughts and feelings are the forces that adjust these frequencies, attracting what we desire into our reality. We are energy transmitters, capable of influencing and altering the vibration around us, through the power of thought and emotion, as taught by Dr. John Hagelin and other scholars like Bob Proctor and John Asaroff. In conclusion, the book O Segredo takes us on a journey of discovery and empowerment. It invites us to embrace the law of attraction and harness the power of our thoughts and emotions to create the reality we desire. Whether it's achieving success, finding love, or experiencing abundance, the secret teaches us that we have the power within us to make it all happen. By aligning our thoughts and feelings with positivity and abundance, we can manifest our deepest desires and live a life of fulfillment and joy. So my friends, embrace the secret, unlock the power within you, and watch as your life transforms into something truly extraordinary. What's up, fellow book enthusiasts? It's time for another exciting episode of Book Breakdowns with me, your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of O Segredo, a thought-provoking book that reveals the power of gratitude and visualization. So grab your notebook and let's get started. In a nutshell, O Segredo tells us that we humans are energetic beings in a vibrant universe where the power of praise and blessings holds the key to transformation. And thanks to modern science, we can see the secret not just as a philosophy, 
but as an energetic reality that we can shape with the strength of our intentions and emotions. Now we're entering the heart of gratitude, a master key in O Segredo. Think of it as a daily spark that can ignite a life of success. The book invites us to embrace gratitude as our second nature. Imagine starting your day not just by getting out of bed, but by rising up with a hymn of thank you. Small morning rituals overflowing with appreciation can shape our day into a melody of positivity, aligning us with the frequencies of abundance. But why is gratitude so essential? Well, grateful thoughts open doors and unlock the hidden riches of life. Here, the importance of focusing on the present and the little things is emphasized. It's not just about being thankful for what we hope will come, but also for what already surrounds us. The book highlights the vastness of this feeling. Look around, be grateful for what you see, what you feel, and the people you know. This way, gratitude has the power to attract more goodness and amplify what we already have. And guess what? This isn't some modern practice. Even more than a century ago, Wallace Waddles infused his teachings with profound gratitude. Even the historical titans, like Albert Einstein, embroidered their days with threads of gratitude. They knew that this was the web in which great discoveries could be captured. Now let's talk about a random simple stone, the Gratitude Stone. It's an inspiring story of how this seemingly insignificant object transforms into a totem of thankfulness. By holding onto the stone, we're reminded of something that brought us happiness, turning gratitude into not just a reflection, but a practice. The stone becomes a bridge between the tangible and the spiritual, a physical reminder of our ability to feel gratitude amidst chaos. To wrap things up, let's highlight visualization as a powerful tool that connects the imaginary world with reality. We're in awe of the mind's incredible ability to influence the world around us, as proven by Olympic athletes in their mental practices and inventors who first envision their creations in their minds. So visualization becomes one of the pillars of personal achievement. There you have it, gratitude as a lifestyle, and visualization as the invisible work that precedes all manifestations. Get excited to experience the power of these forces and watch as your world begins to reflect the brilliant light you emit. So, have you found your gratitude stone today? Let me know in the comments below. Stay tuned for more epic book adventures on this channel. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any future breakdowns. Until next time, keep reading and unlocking the secrets of the world. What if you could turn your passion into a profession, your dreams into reality? Today I'm taking you on a journey through the book O Segredo, The Secret, where we'll explore how Mike Dooley and Bob Doyle use the law of attraction to create inspiring and successful lives. Get ready to uncover their secrets and learn how you can apply these inspiring lessons to your own journey. In this chapter, we meet Mike Dooley, a self-proclaimed life adventurer who embarked on a remarkable career path. Starting from humble beginnings, Mike built the totally unique thoughts, Tut brand, which not only sold products, but also offered inspiration to its customers. From small beginnings, Tut expanded globally, selling over 1 million totally unique t-shirts and attracting a community of over 60,000 members worldwide. Mike's success didn't stop there, though. He also shared his ideas through books and radio programs, inspiring people everywhere to live their dreams. Next, we have Bob Doyle, who focuses on the science behind the law of attraction and teaches people how to apply this knowledge effectively in their lives. Through his program, Wealth Beyond Reason, Bob helps individuals attract wealth, success, and productive relationships. He doesn't just limit himself to vague theories. His work is deeply grounded in practical application, providing tangible results for those who follow his methods. Both Mike Dooley and Bob Doyle are living examples of how the principles discussed in O Segredo can shape careers and entire lives. They took the mystique surrounding the law of attraction and turned it into tangible systems that individuals can use to achieve their most ambitious aspirations. Now let me ask you, how can we apply these inspiring lessons to our own journeys? Join me in the next chapters as we dive deeper and discover more treasures of knowledge. Imagine a life where every action you take is fueled by pure joy. 
In this scenario, Jack Canfield and Neil Donald Walsh, the true alchemists of happiness, guide us through the pages of O Segredo, The Secret. Canfield's transformation story is powerful. He realized that his true mission in life was to simply live in joy. His motto became, if it's not fun, don't do it. Walsh echoes Canfield's belief, emphasizing the power of pleasure. According to him, meditating for an hour or enjoying a salami sandwich can bring pure happiness. Canfield reminds us that joy can be found in simple activities like playing with a cat or taking a walk in nature. By constantly cultivating joy, the universe responds with a flood of joyful things, people, situations, and opportunities. The secret here is simple yet powerful. Discover what brings you pleasure and dedicate yourself to it. And if you're still unsure, don't be afraid to ask yourself, what brings me pleasure? Committing to what makes us happy activates the law of attraction resulting in a spiral of contentment-filled experiences. This chapter urges us to live with the intention of joy. It doesn't have to be a monumental task. Start small, find pleasure in the simplest things in life, and observe how the world around you resonates with the same vibration of happiness that you emit. As we continue our reading, let's carry this infectious optimism with us, because in the end the universe seems to agree with an ancient but timeless premise. Joy is contagious. Imagine your thoughts about money are like a melody that only you can hear, but somehow this melody attracts your audience, a harmony of green notes that we all desire to accumulate. Laura Langemeyer, in the book O Segredo, The Secret, teaches us that the music we play internally, our thoughts and beliefs, can be the master key to attracting or repelling prosperity. According to Langemeyer, the battle for a more prosperous bank balance starts in the mind. It's where we create the internal dialogue that determines our relationship with finances. The turning point happens when we value our own discoveries and insights more than the limiting beliefs we've been taught. As Emerson reminds us, success emerges from within, never from outside. Langemeyer doesn't stop there. She turbocharges this perspective by emphasizing the importance of feeling good about money. It's not easy when you're in the red, but maintaining a negative aura around money will only push it further away. Breaking this cycle is a challenge, but it involves changing the frequency at which we vibrate in relation to money, finding gratitude and abundance in what we already have. I am a money magnet. Money loves being with me. These may sound like financial mantras, but according to Langemeyer, they are keys that unlock the door to prosperity. This abundant mindset sends a signal to the universe which through the law of attraction responds with even more wealth. Now, how do we practically manifest this grateful state of mind? By giving. When we give, we affirm that we have enough, sending a message of abundance rather than scarcity. Not surprisingly, many of the world's wealthiest individuals are known for their philanthropy. They give generously, and like a prosperity boomerang, the universe returns even more to them. But beware, giving should be an act of wholeheartedness, never a bitter sacrifice. The act of giving that uplifts is done with joy, not resentment. Sacrifice signals lack, while giving with joy signals more than enough. The law of attraction aligns with these signals and rewards those who give with the joy of receiving even more. This is the symphony of prosperity that Langemeyer proposes, a composition where the mind is attuned to the frequency of abundance and the hands are open to share, creating a perfect harmony that attracts wealth, success, and fulfillment into our lives. Have you ever thought about the melody your thoughts are playing today? Today, my friends, we dive into the essence of life's true treasure, and it's not just about money. James Ray challenges us to think beyond money as part of opulence. There's more to wealth than dollar signs. Relationships, health, and happiness are equally important pieces of this intricate puzzle of abundance. Do you feel rich? Imagine Abraham, Isaac, and even Jesus with cushy bank accounts. They were millionaires and masters at living well in all areas of life. The proposition here is clear. Prosperity is not just a right you're born with. It's a key you already possess. Marcy Shimoff sheds light on a different perspective, highlighting that true happiness doesn't come from possessions, but from the joy and peace we cultivate within ourselves. We learn that seeking external goods for happiness is a mistake. True success starts within you and radiates outward. 
So, how do we transform this inner beauty into tangible wealth? It's simple. Focus on prosperity, enjoy the feelings of happiness, and here's the trick. Act as if you're already living in a reality of wealth and love. And when we talk about acting, it includes everything, from how we park our car to the space we make in our hearts for others. Now, Marie Diamond takes the discussion to a more personal level, your own home, to be exact. With her special touch of feng shui, she shows us how every object around us and our actions reflect our deepest thoughts. If you crave a love revolution like one of Diamond's clients, start drawing, painting, or acting in a way that manifests that desire. And you, how do you treat yourself? Are you ready to receive what you desire? Because Lisa Nichols and James Ray have a challenge for you. Start treating yourself the way you want to be treated. If your thoughts are filled with love and respect for yourself, get ready to be showered with that same love and respect from the universe. In essence, dear listeners, we are reminded that every choice we make, from letting go to transforming our garage, has the power to attract what we desire most. Our invitation here is for each of you to become your own mission, to prioritize yourself, and by raising your own frequency, touch the lives of those around you. Remember, there is abundance for everyone. Your mission is you, and it's from that point that real and abundant life begins. In this chapter, we dive deep into the profound truth that we are the architects of our own happiness and fulfillment. The secret here is an invitation to self-love and recognizing our own worth, a preparation for something greater that can only overflow when we feel complete within ourselves. Dr. John Gray and other authors guide us to stop seeking satisfaction and love outside of ourselves. It's a call for self-reflection, valuing and feeling deserving of our own attention and affection. It's not about narcissism. It's about recognizing ourselves as the primary source of our own joy and contentment, which then allows us to genuinely share with others. Lisa Nichols shares a personal story that resonates with many of us where she found her path to self-acceptance and love in its entirety, which led the world to see her in that same light of love and acceptance. Bob Proctor and Marcy Shimoff expand on this theme, emphasizing that self-appreciation and focusing on the positives within ourselves and others have the power to transform relationships and attract more of what we admire. Finally, Dr. John Hagelin and Dr. John Demartini allude to the power of the mind over the body. They highlight how belief and internal perception can influence our physical health, pointing to the placebo effect as remarkable evidence of thought's capacity to bring about real changes in our well-being. My friends, approaching the end of our journey through O Segredo the Secret, we discover that true wealth encompasses much more than money. It's about cultivating prosperity in all areas of life, relationships, health, happiness, and personal fulfillment. Now it's time to reflect. Do you feel rich? Can you see the abundant possibilities that lie before you? Open your heart and embrace the richness of your own life. In summary, we are being instructed to find happiness and love within ourselves so that we can live a fulfilling life, attracting harmonious relationships and experiences with our potent inner energy. By nurturing self-love, we tune into the frequency of love, aligning ourselves with the universe and unlocking the doors for the best things in life to flow towards us. Imagine you have an endless source of energy, a fuel that drives every aspect of your life towards success. That's what Dr. John Hagelin talks about when he reveals that true inner happiness is actually the engine for the achievements we desire. And we're not talking about happiness as some distant project, but something to be intensely felt here and now. Enter Dr. Depp. John Gray, echoing this sentiment and assuring us that well-being generates more well-being. It's a continuous and positive cycle. By choosing what resonates with our hearts, we pave the way for more good things to come our way. Items and experiences that bring us satisfaction act like magnets, attracting even more contentment into our existence. It may seem simple, but both perspectives invite us to reflect on the choices we make. By picking up this book, be it physical or digital, you have exercised your power of attraction. It was you who brought these words, this knowledge, into your reality. And what you decide to do with this knowledge is entirely up to you. That's the beauty of the freedom we possess. 
Just as Joseph Campbell inspires us when we turn towards what completes us, the universe has the amazing ability to turn barriers into pathways, showing us opportunities where they once seemed non-existent. It's a powerful reminder that our inner quest has the power to alter the external world, shaping realities where we previously saw only obstacles. So my friends, as we journey together through the understanding of the secret, let's remember that pleasure and well-being are the keys not only to a satisfying life, but also to attracting more of the experiences that make us vibrate in harmony with joy and success. Stay alert to these subtleties and observe, in practice, how these choices shape the map of our destiny. Embarking on a journey through the extraordinary power of the mind, we find ourselves awakening to a world where human potential seems limitless. We explore profound ideas. We conceive the mind as the ultimate frontier, extending far beyond the stars, a universe waiting to be discovered. We speak of education as the key to unlocking a life of boundless achievements, demonstrating that the full utilization of our mental and emotional capacities can lead us to unimaginable successes in all fields of human endeavor. We understand that by freeing ourselves from restrictive thoughts, the true opulence of human life can shine through health, art, technology, and beyond. We are then urged to imagine ourselves as possessors of the goods we desire, an idea echoed by great leaders and spiritual masters. With the secret now revealed to each of us, it is clear that by using it, we intensify our understanding until it becomes an inherent part of who we are, power, wisdom, love, and joy. We remember that each obstacle overcome has prepared us for the present moment, and with this realization, we are prompted to reflect on how we will use this defining moment to shape our destiny. The message is clear. We are the only ones capable of living our individual truth, whether in the dance that only we can perform or in the song that only we can sing. Michael Bernard Beckwith further expands this vision, endorsing the greatness already within us, waiting to emerge with the right mindset. Everything around us, the course of the oceans, the spinning of the earth, the rising and setting of the sun, nature in all its glory, exists as a tribute to each and every one of us. With this new understanding, the promise is that we are masters of the universe, heirs to the kingdom of life, and now bearers of this secret. Next, the book provides us with a recap of the fundamental principles of the secret. Desire, feel good, and recognize that we deserve what we want. By committing to what brings us joy, we open ourselves up to attract happiness. We are reminded that with this knowledge in hand, we are freely powerful to choose our path. Finally, we are introduced to the biographies of some of the contributors to the book, people who have shaped their life journeys based on the principles of the secret, achieving success and contributing to the growth of many around the world. From speakers who have overcome adversity to feng shui masters and business consultants committed to sharing the wisdom of human potential. At this point in our exploration, we absorb the foundations for fostering an existence marked by abundance and magnificence. The guidance is clear. With the perception of the secret, we are not only invited to dream, but to live those dreams, a powerful act of making the impossible possible. Imagine for a moment that you are living a life limited by beliefs that weigh you down like chains, keeping you away from your biggest dreams. Now think of someone who has the key to unlocking those chains. That's Hale Dwoskin, the author of a method that promises life transformation, the Sedona Method. He has dedicated his journey to teaching people how to let go of feelings and thoughts that imprison them and prevent them from reaching their full potential. For over 30 years, this technique has been shared with companies and individuals around the world, showing that freeing ourselves from what limits us is a powerful step towards success and personal fulfillment. On the other hand, Morris Goodman is a living inspiration, a true testimony to the power of the human mind. He was nicknamed the Miracle Man thanks to his incredible full recovery after a plane crash that resulted in grim predictions that he would never walk, speak, or have a normal life again. Defying those expectations, Goodman astonished everyone with an almost impossible recovery, becoming a source of motivation for others to believe in the power of positive thinking and the human capacity to overcome. Together with his wife, Kathy Goodman, he travels the world sharing his extraordinary story, 
encouraging people to never give up, no matter how insurmountable the obstacles may seem. Dwoskin and Goodman, each in their own way, exemplify a fundamental message of the secret, the power that lies in freeing ourselves from mental chains and believing beyond appearances. They are living proof that by changing our mindset, we can radically transform our lives for the better. Now we dive into an ocean of wisdom, where every drop is a crystalline teaching from the masters of thought and personal achievement. A constellation of influential figures twinkles in the sky of this universe called The Secret, illuminating paths to holistic success. It's time to get closer to the essence of each of these giants, capturing the light they radiate and transmitting it to all of us. John Gray, with his celestial clarity, teaches us to understand, respect, and appreciate the differences that make up the fabric of our personal and professional relationships. He shares with us the secrets of coexisting and thriving with those who seem so different, but are essentially part of the same cosmos. Through trainings and books like The Mars and Venus Diet and Exercise Solution, he guides us in balancing our lives. From the past, Charles Hanel flickers with the promise of fulfillment through his 24 weekly lessons in the Master Key System a beacon of strategies and methods that withstand the test of time, proving their value even a century after their creation. John Hagelin, our guiding star in the consternation of quantum mysteries and perfect governance, offers us a new perspective on solving social and environmental problems, all grounded in alignment with the natural laws of the universe. His journey in politics echoes his quest for balance and peace. Bill Harris brings his invention Holosync into focus, an instrument that promises the clarity of deep meditation, a tool for all those seeking refuge from the mental chaos that often plagues us on a journey towards a more peaceful and contented life. Dr. Ben Johnson, a true modern resurrection, presents a radiograph of a dramatic turn of fate by employing alternative healing methods, vigorously advocating for the healing codes, a path to healing that transcends traditional medical practices. Laurel Langemeyer shines brightly with her philosophy of prosperity, advocating that attitude is fundamental in building wealth. Through her lectures, consultations, and platform Live Out Loud, she offers a roadmap to financial fulfillment. Prentice Mulford, from another era but with timeless teachings, approached thought as a tangible and influential force, a pioneer in merging spirituality with the law of attraction in writings that continue to inspire to this day. Last but certainly not least, Radiant, Lisa Nichols passionately advocates for personal power, leading initiatives aimed at inspiring change in the lives of youth, women, and businesses. Her literary journey includes co-authoring a volume in the acclaimed Chicken Soup series. Each of these personalities, with their distinct brilliance, offers us pieces of a larger puzzle, where the whole is revealed as we integrate their teachings into our lives. They weave the web of the secret, showing us that the universe is full of paths for us to discover our best version. Let's continue together on this stellar journey of self-discovery and transformation. Now, imagine having a mind trained like a NASA astronaut or an Olympic athlete, using high-performance tactics to conquer your most ambitious dreams. Dr. Dennis Waitley, a name that stands out in this scenario, has brought his discoveries about peak human performance to the world through his acclaimed work, The Psychology of Winning. With over 15 books and countless lectures, he channels his knowledge to unlock people's potential. Now, let's dive into the realm of modern spiritual influence with Neil Donald Walsh. This thinker revolutionized the world of spirituality with the Conversations with God series, which not only dominated the New York Times bestseller lists, but also created a movement around this new spirituality. With over 22 books and massive global reach, Walsh is a central figure for those seeking deep spiritual inspiration in the contemporary world. And we cannot forget Wallace Waddles, whose life was dedicated to in-depth studies of religions and philosophies. His writings on the New Thought propelled him to posthumous fame with the seminal book, The Science of Getting Rich. Published over a century ago in 1910, Waddle's legacy still resonates powerfully among experts and practitioners seeking to understand the secrets of prosperity. Imagine this, a world where knowledge holds the key to success, spirituality, and wealth. 
A world where the teachings of brilliant minds can not only transform individuals, but also shape cultures and societies. Sounds fascinating, right? Well, today we're diving into the universe of Fred Allen Wolf, better known as Dr. Quantum. With his doctorate in physics and a passion for unraveling mysteries, Dr. Quantum has captivated the minds of people from Ivy League universities to the pages of his 12 published works. Just imagine, he even won the prestigious National Book Award for his masterpiece, Taking the Quantum Leap. That alone speaks volumes about his ability to make mind-boggling quantum physics accessible without losing its richness and depth. He opens doors we didn't even know existed, taking us on a journey where physics and consciousness dance together, questioning the very fabric of reality as we know it. But Dr. Wolf isn't just about academic achievements. He's all about connecting with people, spreading his knowledge through conferences around the world and his website. It's like he's offering us a portal to dive deep into the sea of knowledge. His inspiring desire is simple yet profound, to bring love and joy into people's lives through the understanding of the secret. He wants to illuminate our existence, maybe even transform the very essence of reality with the power of intention. His work, a marriage between intellectual curiosity and a passion for the unknown, reminds us that the journey of learning has no final destination, but countless important stops along the way. And as we navigate these waters, we leave behind the final chapter of the secret. With expanded minds and open hearts, we embrace the infinite possibilities that life, aligned with the law of attraction and quantum mysteries, has to offer. Let us carry not only knowledge, but also the intention to shape a world filled with love and joy, just as Dr. Wolf envisioned. Keep exploring, learning, and applying these teachings to your lives. Because remember, the secret is not a destination, but a journey.